Well, good morning, everybody. On behalf of Council Member Taylor, welcome to the Southeast Ward here. <laughs> we everybody got your visas this morning to get over. But it is a, it's a wonderful day here in Winston-Salem as we begin what I suspect will be a number of events like this as we celebrate the uh, commencement and carrying out of many of the projects that you as voters approved uh, back last year, $139 million worth of bonds that will allow the city of Winston-Salem to address a number of its capital needs uh, across our community. I want to welcome members of our police and fire departments that are here this morning. and. Especially um, uh, special today as we commemorate the terrible events that happened on 9-11. Uh, hard to believe it's been uh, uh, now 14 years ago. We all remember where we were that morning. So I'd like for us, if we could, just take a moment of silence and let's just uh, in remembrance of those folks who lost their lives in that terrible day. Thank you very much. Well, this morning we are here to do a little groundbreaking for the first of what will be three police satellite substations located around our city. Uh, this one here uh, at the Lucia building in the Southeast Ward here on Walltown Street is the first one. And Councilmember James Taylor and chairman of the Public Safety Committee has been lobbying and pushing and cajoling and kicking and screaming and trying to get this project going for a couple of years. I know he feels good about that and you'll hear from him in just a moment. Uh, on behalf of the city of Winston-Salem and, and all the citizens who have helped support those bond issues, this is an important project. This particular project, as you'll see, is, is almost two million dollars worth of work to refurbish this building. And the one key thing is there, we've got over $600,000 of commitments that will be expended with uh, minority and women-owned businesses right here in this particular project. And that's something that me and the city council and city staff have pushed hard on all of these projects is strong minority and business women enterprise participation. This will house Police District 2, which covers a, a lot of this area. And as Council Member Montgomery from the East Ward pointed out, we'll cover a portion of the East Ward as well. So this morning we're here to have a great time to groundbreak uh, this, this wonderful new facility and help to celebrate with the uh, Winston-Salem Police Department as we commence the construction on this District 2 police station. It's now my honor to bring forward the Chairman of the Public Safety Committee, Council Member James Taylor, Jr. Good morning. It is with honor and pleasure that I bring greetings on behalf of the Winston-Salem City Council. I'm also joined by my colleague, Councilmember Duro Montgomery, Councilmember Dan Bessie. Uh, give honor to the city manager, the mayor, and everyone who helped to make this happen. I also greet you on behalf of the residents of the sensational Southeast Ward. And I, I see there are a few here today. And the work that we're doing here today is one of the reasons why we're so sensational here in the Southeast Ward. I'm very honored to be here today. Uh, the honor and the pleasure and the excitement that I feel uh, doesn't go without uh, remembering that this is a day of remembrance, as the mayor spoke about. We remember 14 years ago today uh, when 3,000 men and women lost their lives in the tragic events of 9-11. We did polls for that cause. But I can say uh, it gives me great honor to thank Chief Barry Roundtree, uh, the fire department led by Chief Mayo, the assistant chiefs, everyone who helped to make this happen all of our emergency responders, police, fire, this is truly a great day to be in the city of Winston-Salem. Uh, it also reinforces our commitment to protect and serve our community and to redevelop this community. Uh, it is uh, necessary to point out that there are a number of people who will enjoy this facility, who will be able to work on this facility and provide jobs for their families. Not only will this facility provide jobs for their families, but it will help us to, again, to protect and to serve those who we love the most. Again, on behalf of the mayor, on behalf of the city council, on behalf of the public safety committee, uh, this is uh, the Southeast Ward, and we're happy about this facility. Uh, we thank you for what you do to help our cities to be a better place to live, work, and relax. May God bless the city of Winston-Salem, and may God bless America. Thank you. Thank you, Council Member Taylor. I'd like to invite up uh, Councilmember Montgomery and Councilmember Bessie if they would like to say a couple of brief words. I'll let them come up now.
it is indeed a great day in the city of Winston-Salem as we pause today to break ground on this building. As it's already been stated, we gather on a day in which people across this country are pausing to remember the events of 9-11. And as we pause today to gather together to break ground on this facility in that same vein, we remember what has happened in 19, excuse me, in 2011 and how things have dramatically changed for us as a nation. But today we gather together to expand what we do for protecting and serving the community in Winston-Salem by making sure that we have police presence across our community in a diversified way that makes sure that people can go in their homes, go to shopping centers, and go to places that they frequent each and every day and not be concerned about their safety. So we salute our police departments today. We salute all of those who work every day to protect and serve. And today we make a headway in making sure that people continue to feel safe in our community. So on behalf of those in the East Ward who will be served by this facility, we're grateful for this opportunity to continue to move forward for protecting our community. So again, thank you to all who helped make this possible. As my colleagues have pointed out, this is the day that we remember the first responders, including the police officers and the firefighters who sacrificed themselves to help people get out of the burning buildings in New York that day. And we can not do that in a more fitting manner than by dedicating this facility, which will help enhance the safety of our community citywide. Uh, I would like to particularly recognize my colleague, Councilmember Taylor, for his leadership uh, in helping to ensure that the district uh, concept move forward and in helping to ensure that this particular site uh, move forward. Uh, this will be one of the key, three keystones uh, in our community citywide to help ensure that our police officers can spend more of their time on the beats uh, and less in transit uh, on a recurring basis. Uh, I have one of the, my best friends who lives just a few blocks away from here and I will feel more secure about her and her family uh, with this facility here knowing that uh, the police officers who are responsible for this area will be even closer uh, to responding to calls from her neighborhood. Uh, I am appreciative of the opportunity to be a part of this ceremony today and thank all of you who have made it happen uh, and who are making this facility a reality. Thank you. Well, thank you, council members. Uh, this is the first of uh, three. We've already bought uh, land for the two others, and we'll be doing events like this very soon for those two other uh, police substations as well. And you'll see all around the city this logo uh, on police stations, on fire stations, on recreation centers, on parks, and economic development projects. So we're committed to reporting back to the citizens exactly what we're doing with the monies that you all approve for us to, to expend. Now my honor to bring up the person who will own this building, so to speak, and uh, uh, operate it, our police chief, Chief Barry Roundtree. Good morning. Good morning. This groundbreaking is surely a historic moment for the Winston-Salem Police Department. So I want to thank the mayor, uh, members of city council, and the citizens of Winston-Salem for approving this project. With the growth of the city and the police department over the years, our employees, you know, we're pretty bunched up in our public safety center. So this project will give us some additional breathing room, so to speak, but it also has several other key benefits. It'll give the police a greater presence in this community. It also assists with improving police and, and community relations. And also it'll improve our overall efficiency by reducing travel time and improving response time. So thank you again, thank you for coming out today, and thank you for approving this project. Well, great, well you've heard the, heard the comments, you've heard how excited we are about it, so I guess the main thing to do is let's get started uh, building this project. So I invite uh, our council members, our police chief, and our city manager uh, to come up and let's uh, do the ceremonial groundbreaking. 